Rubens Cobrinha Charles is a 2017 IBJJF Grand Slam champion. He won the European Championships in Lisbon, Portugal, the Pan Am Jiu Jitsu Championships in Irvine, California, the Brazilian Nationals in Sao Paulo, and the World Championship in Long Beach, California. He is the two-time defending ADCC World Champion. Cobrini is about to begin his third training session of the day. Today he's already completed a two-hour wrestling practice with Coach Kenny Johnson at Black House, followed by two hours of jiu-jitsu at his own academy. This is his final strength and conditioning session. 24 hours from now, he'll be on a plane heading to Finland. The ADCC World Championships only take place every two years, and competitors must be invited to compete. Cabrinha won the championship in China in 2013 and then again in Brazil in 2015. This year, he's looking to win three consecutive ADCC World Champion titles and achieve a Super Grand Slam, which means five gold medals in the greatest jiu-jitsu tournaments around the world, all in one year.
Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so far, so good. So this is your the start of your fifth hour, right? Yeah, that's right, my fifth hour. Of training. Of training, yes, yes. Two hours wrestling, two hours jujitsu. Two hours of training with uh, wrestling with Kenny at uh, the Black House. Two hours of training with uh, with Fabio and Laercio at, uh, at my school, and now another hour of uh, strength conditioning. Yeah. Can you do this? Four days a week? Five days a week? I'm doing this six, uh, six days a week. Six days a week, alright. Yeah, six days a week. Yeah. Six hours of sleep. Yes, yes, that's good. I'm excited. I mean, no, no days off. No? Yeah, I'm excited. Life, life of a champion. Yes, that's the life we chose. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> alright, back again. Here we go. Yes. 2013, 15, and 17, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Three in a row. So we did the 2013 China, 2015 in Brazil, and then now Finland. It's going to be really good. And then also, plus that, we did this year uh, Europeans, we did uh, uh, Pan Ams, Brazilian Nationals, and Worlds. It's going to be the Grand, Grand, Grand Slam. There we go. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's make that happen. Yes. Yes. That's right. I'm a champion. 
I'm a champion. Yeah. I'm the champion. I'm the champion. Ooh, I'm the champion. I'm the champion. I'm the champion. Halfway. Nice. Feeling good. Uh, how many weeks ago did you start camp? I'm sorry? How many weeks ago did you start camp? Uh, two, two months ago, three months ago. Three months ago. Right. Yeah. So uh, I feel like I, I have done my homework. It's like you, you have a big test coming up and you study super hard for your test. You know, a week before, you feel like you're ready to go. That's the way I'm feeling right now. I feel like I'm ready to compete tomorrow or today. That's the way I'm feeling. So I'm very well prepared. Uh, I can't wait. I just can't wait to be there. So, uh, people are thinking, Cobrinho, you know, he, he has, you know, the titles already. He's, I mean, he might not, he might not training, you know, he might, you might not train a little bit, no, no, no. It's, I have been training super hard and I can't wait to be there. I can't wait to get there. It feels like I don't have any title on my back. I'm going for my first one. That's the way I'm training. That's the way I feel right now. I feel like you know, I'm super hungry, like those kids, like the young kids, the up, up, upcomer, up, upcomers, kids. They're hungry. I'm starving. I'm starving. Can't wait to get there.
So you, you were telling me about the weigh-ins. Can you tell me again how the weigh-ins work? The do, do the weigh the weigh-in the weigh-in uh, works this way. So Friday, so we don't compete, but we have to weigh in and uh, just to check our weight to 145, just to confirm our name. Okay. So Saturday we'll come back again, make weight again. We have to be 145 again on point and compete. So if you advance to the next phase uh, and then you come back again on Sunday to the, the finals and then you have to wait in again on 145 again and then compete again. So, I mean, you can't complain, that's the life we chose. I'm super excited, I did twice already. I did in China, I did in Brazil. And uh, yes, I'm going to do it again in Finland, that's it. So you're just constantly hungry, basically. Uh, hungry, yes, absolutely. I mean, both way, hungry to win and then hungry now from, <laughs> from, the, the, from the food. But it's okay, it's all right. It's, all right. It's, you know, it's, I believe everything in life, it's, it's, uh, it's, just, uh, it's just a time, right? Just a, we have another, another two weeks. And then I'm sure, you know, that's gonna be, that's gonna be the sacrifice we're, we're making out know, to succeed, right? Mental There's strength. Mental strength is most important. I think when you get there, let's see, you know, who are, not just physically, but also mentally, who is there, who is very strong mentally. Let's see, when you get there. So I'm super excited to get there. Uh, physically, technical, and mentally, I feel like I'm, I'm 38, but I feel like I'm 18, 17. That's the, the way my heart is beating right now, as a 17 years old. Can't wait. And sometimes, wait, people, people have the the recipe to succeed, right? But. Uh, it's the, which means like the recipe is there for everyone, okay? Uh, but people, they know the recipe is there. They have the recipe to succeed, whatever they do in life. But the end of the day, when they are ready to get the, res the recipe and then uh, bake a cake, they don't want to do it. They just don't want to do it. 
right? So everybody wants to be a champion, everybody wants to succeed in life, whatever they do, whatever profession they do. But again, uh, the thing is sometimes they let people uh, point fingers at them and saying that they cannot do it. So that's one thing, you know, that's one thing I don't let people do with me. I don't let people direct my life saying, Kobani, I don't think you can do this. I don't think no one has done this. I don't think you'll be able to do this. I say, no, I'm gonna prove you were wrong. I wanna prove, I wanna prove by doing, but again, the, the, the reason why, the other thing, the reason why I compete and I still doing what I do, it's because uh, I'm going for, I'm going to the competition to improve, not to prove, right? So I wanna, I wanna go over that to improve, but not to prove. Focus always on improving, not on proving. I like that. more to go. And the preparation is it's, it's going great. I have uh, Kenny, Kenny Johnson is helping my wrestling, which is now I feel like my wrestling it's way, way, way better than it was uh, four years ago, two years ago. It's way better. And I also have my strength and conditioning. Uh, Vaguinho is from Brazil. He does the strength and conditioning for the uh, the, uh, the judo uh, national team. So I want to thank you very much, Vaguinho as well. Thank you, Kenny. Uh, thank you, Danny, Kennedy, and all my students uh, for helping me. Because without uh, all of you guys, I would not be able to make it. I uh, would not be able to prepare myself and by myself once again. You know, we are we are a team. We're a family. Um, yes, that's uh, that's the message I want to make sure. It's uh, I'm not doing this by myself. So I have a team behind me, uh, who supports me, who helps me to achieve my my goals. Thank you.
the that's the last phase of my training. Uh, you guys can see it's uh, just for speed, uh, and then just keep my just keep my body moving, moving. Just keep my body moving. Just keep the break the sweat, and then and just for speed. But I did phase one, phase two, and now it's the last phase, which is phase three. Uh, so. Can you explain the kettlebell? You only do one sit, uh, rep. Can you explain what that's for? Yeah, it's it's just for again the 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 proposal of this conditioning we're doing right now, the the phase, the third, the third phase. Uh, it's just for a speed. I do two over there, and then it gets straight to here and drill for a minute. It's just for speed. It's not nothing like for uh, the way I was doing before. Before I was doing heavy weights, but now just for speed. Yeah.